Okay, let's take a look at the pistol grip. So there's two screws on here. They are Phillips head. So this trigger here needs to go on there. And this obviously needs to be facing the front of the camera like that. So there's two screw holes here that these go into. And there are tiny little gaskets on there, which is good just to prevent a bit of water coming through. But I don't believe there's anything that would rust or um, wear out too much in here. There are actually two screw holes here too, which line up with them. There's a fifth there, which doesn't seem to be relevant for this mount. But let me screw these two in first. Yeah, so there's definitely two more screws that need to go in. Which look like they're these ones here. These are different screws. These ones do have a rounded edge to them. These ones are flat and have a countersunk head on them. Ah, well, I almost missed that. There is a little nipple, plastic nipple here, which I believe is a replacement for if the contact that the top of this makes with the uh, shutter button underneath wears out. So definitely something to put away and keep safe. All right, that feels pretty good. It has got a two-stage presser switch on there, which is quite nice. The same as these buttons here, and I'm guessing underneath. So if I was doing video work down low, that would be okay. And it's a lot easier to pan doing that, although it is quite heavy. Next, let's look at the side handles. So because I bought that uh, extra side handle kit, it really is just the mirror image of each other there. I will put them on now. These smaller screws are obviously for the shorter one. And these ones are Allen key, not for the So you could hold it like this and film. I quite like how that feels. And the good thing about only having one is you can still rest it like that pretty easily. If you had both on there, well, let's find out. But I imagine it wouldn't rest as well. You'd have to put it, sort of lay it down like that. That does feel really nice. Nice and solid. So you've got some options now, if you're left-handed. I'm actually left-handed, but I prefer using my right to hold things. Smile. Yeah. But yeah, to lay this down now is really awkward. I would recommend on a soft towel or something like that, putting it down like this because you're going to have a lens port protruding out here, maybe the dome port. Uh, let's try taking the uh, trigger grip off and seeing how it lays. If I had to guess why they used a Phillips head here and not the Allen key, my guess would be because it's quite long and close to the trigger grip. People, not many people have Allen key threads for these kinds of uh, screwdrivers, so to get this in here and around, you keep hitting on there let me know if I'm right, Aquatech. Yeah, so that sits nicely like that. So, I mean, there's more to the camera housing than how it sits on the ground, but I do think that's important to think about these kind of little things. Um, maybe you're out swimming and you just want to rest it somewhere for a second, or you want to put it in the car. So you probably don't want to have it sitting like that face up. You probably want to have it facing down or flat or on a side like that. Even, even if it's in a bag. So my recommendation would be to either have the trigger grip 
and one side on, or have both sides without the trigger grip. And lastly, let's see how it fits in the dive bags. This one is probably a touch small. Let's go with the 60 litre. Okay, so this one doesn't look like it's any wider, but it's definitely longer and better access. Yeah, that fits in there nicely. Oh, that's better. That's actually got heaps of room. Let me go back to the other bag, open it up, and just see how it Oh, wow. Look at that. That's massive. Although the zip, the zip on this isn't massive. So in order to get stuff in there, I don't see me doing this with the dome port. And even, even with side handles on, I think it's a real challenge because you don't want to be marking the lens port at all. So you want to be really careful about getting that in there. And it just doesn't go that well, unfortunately. Yeah, because you'd be touching the zips. That's a little bit of a shame, but that's fine. We've got the bigger one. And my plan, if I'm just carrying around, is I've got a non-diving camera bag that I'll put this in when it's not wet. But obviously, if it does get wet, I'd have to wrap it or put it in one of these for safe carrying. Okay, so I realized I didn't pull out the protective cases for the dome port or the actual camera housing. So let me show you that now. So this is for the camera housing, Aquatech branded. It's got a mesh bottom and a thicker padded sides. So I guess that's to allow water to drain out the bottom if it's wet. I don't know if this will fit in here with any lens port. I don't really see that happening. So what you would probably do... I mean, I could get away with it like this, but if it was wet, you definitely wouldn't want to put it in like that. And I believe they've got this folded across here let's take the camera out that was really tight obviously I've never used the shutter release cable before I thought I was going to break the camera or the port by doing that so let's seal that back up let's put the camera to the side and so this is where the lens port covers come in so if you're not actually traveling with the camera inside the housing and you want to assemble it later when you get on location. Okay, so these are like a soft rubber. They're not fully hard. So these are technically uh, port covers. go on like that. I don't think they actually fit the housing itself so you have to buy a separate cover for that which is which is a bit annoying. I do think they should have supplied that with the unit itself. But regardless this goes in there like that and my guess is this flap goes over this little bit. It is a bit of a stretch 
but I do have both of these um, handles on there. So, and it doesn't go in sideways. I think the bag's a little bit small, Aquatic. Because that doesn't clip in. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. I'm sure if I take one of these side handles off, it will fit, but it's not like I'm doing anything crazy here. Yeah, so that does fit, but I'll tell you what, I haven't got any side handle mount on there at all, and it's just fitting. So, and if I look at the bottom of this, where the mesh is, there's a the gear here, which would probably push onto it quite a bit. The bag itself doesn't seem that well made. It feels a little bit cheap. It does fit in well this way. That is a lot better. But again, I have got the side handle removed. So if I add the side handle back, let's see what we can do. Let me add the standard one back so we're going with what it comes with by default. It's kind of hard to get my fingers in there. I know it's supposed to go on the other side, so that's fine, but that feels really awkward on this side with that zoom gear. Doesn't feel comfortable at all. So there is a cutout on the bag, just here, but it doesn't look very big, so I'm not really sure what the thinking is there. But it does fit in there comfortably, like that. Yeah, I don't know what that cutout's for. at all. Would I recommend buying this bag? The dome port cover. So this I'm pretty sure I need. It actually doesn't look that big but it is made of a stretchy polyurethane, like a wetsuit material. It's polyurethane. All right, let's get the dome port out. And if this doesn't fit then we're in trouble. I mean, it looks like it should fit. It is stretchy, I'm just don't want to break it. Okay, it is quite tight, but that's probably because it's new. Ah, cool. That feels solid. I'd recommend buying this, definitely. For the price of the dome port, yeah, definitely get that. And finally, the leash. So there's nothing particularly special about this leash. I just think it's designed for your wrist, it's designed to go on one of the side mounts of the Aquatec housing. It's got their branding on it, of course. So let's say you throw it through here. It is nice, a nice thick leash and they have melted the plastic all around here.
and it is quite stiff, so I don't know if they've coated it or whatever, but it's good, it's solid. Okay. It doesn't double over like some wetsuit or, or surfboard wrist straps, but it feels pretty good. I like it. So if you're running around like this and suddenly something scares you, it'll drop and you've got it there and you've still got your camera. How's it? Nice. So as you can see, I've made a complete mess of my land room. I've got to go clean this up. Thank you very much for watching and please, if you've got any questions about the Aquatech housing or any of the gear you've seen today, please ask in the comments below and stay tuned for a nice relaxing drone footage montage of some landscape in Australia.